Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. The first card that came out is somebody is feeling absolutely hopeless, like they don't have they don't stand a chance. Um, I, I, I don't know. They're they're feeling um, very ashamed of what they've done. There could also be oh, that's what this is. They're in a karmic situation where there's a karmic individual who is making this person feel completely unworthy of you. Um, they, this karmic knows that this person wants you. And this karmic is trying to belittle this person like every day, okay? Um, they're, she's trying to make them feel like, they, she's making them feel like they don't stand a chance, okay? That there's no hope for them. Even if they, even if they were to reach out to you and communicate with you, she's telling them, ah, oh, the collective's never going to take you back now. The collective doesn't want you. Who would want you? You know, I feel like this, this is a masculine also who may have some childhood traumas and she's, she knows about them and she um, is using that to make this person feel even lower about themselves. So she's trying to, She's trying to ruin their confidence, their self-esteem, take away their their manliness altogether. Um, I mean, she's you know, you know when somebody is uh, around you and they say nothing but bad things about you. Okay, um, it's they do it out of control, but it, they do it so that that you don't succeed or that you don't see that you you have any power. Okay. That's what this person is doing. This karmic is like whooping this person down to believe they don't have enough power to get you back or, or to think that they um, don't have anything to offer you or, um, or anybody else. The, this karmic doesn't want them going anywhere. Mostly, they, she doesn't want them coming towards you. Okay, but she just doesn't want them to leave. She's making them feel like they can't be on their own or they can't, they're not going to get another chance with you or nobody's going to want them or um, they're worthless because of what they went through in the past in their childhood. I mean, she's just, <sighs> okay, and I've said this before, the scene that they're giving me, you guys, um, is from a movie called uh, A Bug's Life. I think it's called A Bug's Life. It's a Pixar movie, I think. Um, it's one of those cartoony movies, you know. In the in the movie The Bug's Life, there's this group of grasshoppers that are bullying the or is it? Yeah, they're bullying the ants. <laughs> I have to think of the name of the movie. They're bullying the ants, and in the movie, there's a part where the the lead grasshopper is talking to all the other grasshoppers, and they're like, "Listen, these ants don't know their power. Okay." We need to keep them believing they don't have any power. If these ants stood up to us, they would outnumber us a hundred to one. Okay? And they would, they would regain their power. And we would lose our power. So we have to remind these ants all the time, as often as we can, that they're powerless against us. Okay, we need to keep reminding them that there's that that we have control and they have no control. Otherwise, though, they'll take us over. Okay, that's pretty much what this grasshopper says to to the other grasshoppers in the movie. Okay, a bug's life. Check it out. But that's what this karmic is doing. She's beating this person down mentally and emotionally to the point where they feel so small. And, uh, and so worthless. I mean, they're, she's unworthy. She's making them feel ashamed, disgraced, unworthy, humiliated, so that they don't realize they have the power to leave that situation. So that they, so that they think that they don't have um, enough strength to get the kind of life that they want. Okay? And she's reminding them of this every day. It's, it's a tactic. It's a control tactic. Okay? And all this person wants to do is leave. See? She went on the bottom of the deck. I cannot make it up. She's, she wants to take away all of their power. 
and make them feel like they're powerless, paralyzed, and weak. Okay, so yeah, this karmic man, she is... She's terrible. I don't even know what else to say. And she's using she's using some traumatic childhood experience against this person. Yeah, to make them resist coming towards you, even though they want you so bad. See, she she beats them down so they have no confidence in themselves, collective. She doesn't want them to know they have any power. She doesn't want them to know that they can create a change for themselves. She doesn't want them to take a stand. She wants them down, feeling like this, stuck under her control. And here's the thing, and she's, she's doing it. I feel like she makes this, this is why this person is resisting this connection. This is why this person hasn't come forward to you yet. You know, this is why they can't get their strength, because she sucks it right out of them. She doesn't let them have it. She doesn't want them to feel strong. She wants them to feel weak. Because she wants this person in the palm of her hands. And secretly, though, it, she's doing this because she's worried. She's very uneasy. She's, she knows that they want to break free from her. Just like the grasshopper. Right? The grasshopper was worried. If those ants realized they had the power to overcome the, the grasshoppers, they, the grasshoppers would lose all their power. That's what she's worried about. She's worried. She needs to keep this masculine in the palm of her hands. And the only way to do that is to turn them into a little, a little ball of mush. That's it. And instill fear in them. Keep them in a state of depression. You know, she may even be creating some kind of addiction for this person. Maybe she's um, uh, telling them to numb the pain. Okay? She could be, um, I don't know, maybe say, uh, she could be like, oh, this will make you feel better, right? And it gives them a, another drink, something like that. I feel like they're doing some numbing, a lot of drinking, maybe even some kind of substance abuse. And she knows it. She knows. But if, if she, if she um, lets this person think that they have any kind of power, that they can change their life in any way, um, they'll do it. And she'll lose this person. She doesn't. See, it's actually her that doesn't want to be alone. It's actually her that has, has self-esteem issues. It's her that has confidence issues. It's her. But she's projecting that onto this masculine. Okay? Deep down inside, this karmic is scared. She's scared she's going to lose this masculine or lose them to you. Okay? Yeah, because this masculine is frustrated. They don't want to be there anymore. Time's running out. This masculine wants their happiness and time is running out on them. Spirit is getting mad. I'm feeling like... um. I feel like spirit's getting mad with these two. There's about to be some kind of tower moment for both of them. I, I feel like they're about to get some major karma, especially this karmic. Um, for trying to stand in between this connection. And here you are. I feel like this is you. Nice and calm and happy, right? Doing your thing, a lazy Sunday morning. What did I say? <laughs> That's what this is. A cup of coffee, sitting by the beach, watching the ship sail on. You know, I feel like you're just moving on to calmer waters here. And you're in the star energy. You could be an Aquarius. You know, I just feel you very much at peace. You could be a water sign as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with this person. They could be a, a Leo. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, and this person's going through it in the background. 
they are um and the karmic is abusing her power and she's she's using the worst part of it is is she's using some kind of childhood trauma to hurt this person it, like she makes them relive it or something i don't know man but this masculine feels very very stuck they feel like they're um it feels like a jail cell to them they want all they want is to break free from that from that cage but she's making them think that they can't. It's really all like um, she's getting into their head, right? She's it's 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 mental and emotional abuse is what it is. She's she's mentally and emotionally abusing this masculine to the point where they don't have any strength left, and they don't know if they should get any strength, and they don't know if they should trust their decisions. You know, they're feeling like, um, they're feeling worthless. She's got this masculine feeling absolutely worthless. And like a child, look, discouraged. And this is why this masculine hasn't come towards you yet. This, right here. I feel like they want to try. You know, maybe they did try. Maybe they did try to leave this karmic behind at one point, but she wrestled them back in. You know? And now they're they're discouraged. They don't think they can get another chance. She's making them feel that way, little by little, every day. Reminding them that they're powerless, right? Not wanting them to feel any power. Yeah, uh, I'm getting the sense that this this masculine is uh, they're going to eventually move. Um, I'm seeing a crashing tower moment and possibly it, this even could be the divine getting angry and keeping your person stuck, but they want to get away. I'm seeing somebody comes up with some kind of um, inventive idea, creative idea to break free from this karmic. I feel like the karmic's going to get a lot of karma for keeping this connection apart and doing this to this masculine, okay? But I feel like there's divine intervention to break this masculine free from this. They're going to get unstuck here. See, they go from frustrated, thinking about how they want out, wanting a house move, feeling like there's some kind of blockage, right in their way running out of time and then all of a sudden spirit intervenes now the divine is angry angry with this karmic for doing what she's doing okay but i feel like something happens in this situation that frees this masculine all of a sudden they're given a creative way to get out and leave they, this could be like a sudden opportunity a friend says Hey, man, I need your help for the next three months. I'm sick, I've got, or I, I broke my leg. I need somebody to hang with me. Can you just, man, show up? And, I mean, this is your purse. This is a, an opportunity to get out of that situation, you know? Um, or, or somebody, they could, they could get a job offer. Say they get a job offer that requires a move. That's another opportunity to break free from that karmic situation. Spirit sends this masculine some way to get out. Because spirit is now getting angry because this masculine is taking so much mental and emotional abuse. Yeah, look, they will get out. They will get their power back. Look at this. They will get out of that situation. They will get their power back. Um, it may take a while, though. I don't know, like, I can't tell when this is going to happen. But this kind of transformation can sometimes take a while, okay? Yeah, all right, so let's, um, what do I want? I want the after tarot. <laughs> okay, what can you show me for this person, for the collective? You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, 
Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius or a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What can you show me about this? Yeah, they're feeling like a fool. But here's the thing. I, and I feel like this kind of ends in sort of a tower moment, okay? Or they, they barely escape some kind of big calamity in the situation, okay? But I feel like um, they're wanting this, they're wanting the, I'm being led to look at this rose in their hand. That's what they want. Their, their thoughts are only on you. Like spirit um, replaces the fear with just like, it feels like determination to come, come towards you. And they start rebuilding. I feel like this person is going to lose a lot and they're going to have to rebuild. Yeah, look though. They want, they want this um, Ten of Cups. There may be some loss of money. Okay. This person could be really low on their finances right now. Um, just because of the card that was on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, and I, I'm getting the sense that whoever they're with, they're going to leave that person behind. They don't love that this karmic anymore. They just don't. She could be a fire sign as well, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person doesn't love her anymore. I feel like now they're focused on themselves. Look at how they're drinking their own cup of love. They're focused on themselves. Okay, so they're going to be healing. Yep. Star energy, a lot of healing because this person is the wounded warrior, but they're dropping all the burdens. Okay, so this, then with divine intervention, I don't know what happens. The karmic gets some kind of karma. The masculine gets an opportunity to break free. Okay, um, and then they drop these burdens. They do have to replenish, though. They've got to do some healing. They've got to put love back into themselves before they come towards you. Spirit wants anyone who approaches you now, collective, spirit wants them to come in whole and healed. That's why I'm saying this could take some time. Okay? They've got to go from... Because right now they've been traumatized. This karmic traumatizes this person, okay? She brings up their, their childhood trauma and uses it against them every day. That in itself is traumatizing. But, but, but continuing to call them, like she's calling them a loser. She's calling them worthless. She's saying, who would want you now? Look at you. You're nothing. Like she's, she's really affecting their mind and the way they think about themselves okay and you are in this peaceful calm i feel like powerful energy and you need them to match that energy otherwise they're going to come towards you with all of this heavy baggage and traumas that they haven't healed from okay it'll put too much stress on your relationship they need to come and healed and i feel like that could take some time Okay, maybe even possibly up to like 10 months. Just so you know. Yeah, they need to work on themselves. They need to work on themselves. They need to, I feel like this is, this is putting in the work, but I, I feel like they need to um, look at themselves from a different perspective. More of a I can, I can perspective. I can have this. I can have my wishes. I can have my blessings. I can create this rather than how this karmic has made them feel. This karmic makes them feel like no matter what they want, they'll never get it. I, I mean, it's just they, this karmic just doesn't want them to have any power at all. All right. But they need to get to the point where they feel empowered, empowered and strong. Um, yeah, in order for them to bring you that night, that pentacle, sorry, knight of pentacles, right? But this is someone very slow moving. This is the slowest moving knight in the deck. This is what's taking them so long. 
is because they're getting mentally and emotionally abused. They're literally being traumatized um, behind the scenes. Yeah, see, and I feel like in, in order for them to come towards you, I feel like this would be your relationship, right? They need to be strong and have courage and have um, confidence in themselves like this lion for you to really truly embrace this and take them back. And that means they need to heal and they need to grow. Okay, they need to do the work on themselves, right? That's what they're doing here. They need to go through a transformation. Yep, because you're an empress. Oop, and they need to become an emperor. Everyone, it just followed, right? You need an emperor. And right now, this person feels like this. They've got a long way to go. Okay? They've got to go from this energy to this. All right? The Ten of Wands to the Emperor. It's terrible what this karmic did to this masculine. Okay? It really is. They feel so weak and powerless. And they've, you're in Empress energy right now, Collective. In your strength in Empress energy, you're going to need an Emperor at your side. Until they boss up into the Emperor, this person's just not ready. But I will tell you, though, Spirit is releasing this person and bringing down this karmic situation. Okay? Yes. This is divine intervention, That's a, and it's a very vicious lightning bolt. This is a very, um, it's a very intense tower. It's a huge shakeup in their, in their connection. This karmic is going to, in fact, have to release this masculine, okay? And I feel like then they're coming to you. Then they're coming to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, thank you, Divine. I forgot to mention, but Spirit won't let them pass until, until they boss up into an emperor. So they're going to want to come towards you right away because you are a healer. I feel like, um, especially if you're a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could also be a Leo, Taurus, Aries. Um. You're definitely this person's healer. You know, something about your energy just kind of calls to them right now. And they feel like they really need you. But what they really need is to take a look at themselves, spend some time with spirit, and heal from all of this trauma. Okay? Yeah. Um, let's see what they want to say. What does this person want to say? To my beautiful collective, please give me a second chance. That came out right away. That was very fast. Um, I will take action soon. Please believe in me. Yes, yeah, see, here's the thing. They need somebody who believes in them. This karmic, all she's telling them every day, every chance she gets is that they have no power. They're worthless. They can't do this. They can't do that. They'll never reach that goal. You know, they're a loser. She's really cutting them down, okay, to the bone. All right? So what they want is someone who will actually believe in them. That's what they want. And I feel like that's what you did. You believed in this person. You did. You had patience with this connection. You put so much energy into this connection. You know, even in separation, you still kept believing or wanting to believe that they were going to come in and do the right thing. You believed in this connection and in them and the one that they chose to be with instead of you is calling them like a loser and worthless. But see, the thing is, is this person needs to believe in themselves. Okay, and they're working on that. I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you. 
Yeah, so they're just not ready yet. They know what they want. They're afraid of hurting you. I feel like this is, person is afraid of losing you. Don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. See, they know they know that um, it's going to take some time to heal from this, to get their head straight. They've got to get their head straight. Um, they've got to break free from this karmic. They're going to be given an opportunity to move away from the karmic as well. So they're going to be making a house move in the future. And honestly, the only thing I'm seeing of your energy is that you require an emperor. That you're attracting new things to you. You're in empress energy right now, standing in your boundaries and your strength and living a peaceful life. That's all I've got of your energy out here. The rest is all why your person hasn't made a move towards you yet. Okay? Okay? 